It's a whole ass fucking vibe, dude. And dude, it's. Um, so we left off in Eternus City, like I was saying. Uh, we had just got the Explorer Kit. I do want to... And we got the bike as well. I do want to... Okay, we did set up the bike. So I do want to go onto Cycling Road just to try it. Phoenix, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. Do you want to who I am? I'm Professor Rowan's assistant, assistant and Don's father. I've come a long way on the behest of the professor to help you on your adventure. Phoenix, let me ask you, how many Pokemon have you met? Hi, you've met 38 Pokemon. Wonderful, yes, bravo. Professor Rowan should be delighted. Here is something for you. A rare candy. Ooh, our first one. Giving a rare candy to Pokemon will instantly increase that Pokemon's level by one. You can raise your weak Pokemon, or if, if you could train your strong Pokemon. Uh, you use them as you like. Awesome. Pokemon you get in the trade may disobey you if it's, it is too high in level. Don't worry, though. It will obey you if you have enough gym badges. Of course it would. Learn how to shift gears and you'll be ready to ride right anywhere. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright. There we go. Yo! Having a good time cycling. You know, the, the animation of when you walk into someone's dialogue and then the actual batter stage is actually, like, that brief moment kind of gets me. Like, it makes me think, oh, am I not battling? It always gets me. But it hits whatever. Okay, so. Uh, let's do Mock Punch. Punch him from the sky. Oh shit. No me gusta. I do not like this. Die you. Die! Die! I tell you die. 21. Well that was easy. Hey not bad you. Oh, it kind of- it, cycling roads, it's an angle, you just go. Hey, watch where you're going, or did you want to challenge me? Of course I wanted to challenge you. Honey tap. You already know. Of course I wanted to. Let's see. Mock Punch! Hi! Oh, hello, first time, Ruben. How is you this fine evening or day? Whatever time it is for you, hello. Where are you in the game? I just beat Gardena. So we just got the bike and we're able to uh, go underground. So, just did all that. Literally not that far in the game, I promise. Literally. Uh, trainer card. We literally just... Oh, you badges. Got our second badge. Oh, my... Is, first, is Roark supposed to be that dirty? Or can I clean them? Congrats. Thank you. Oh, I guess I can't clean them. That's a shame. That was a lovely thing to be able to do back in the DS. Is clean, clean gym badges. I like cleaning them. You and I, we're both riding bikes. And you've got Pokemon. I don't want to lose to you. You're challenged by Nicole. I'm going in for the fifth gym. Oh, wow. Way ahead of the game. Good for you, though. Good for you. Yeah, I feel like, compared to other people who've been streaming the game, to be on day 4 and only this far, I definitely don't feel like I'm doing that great. But, you know, everyone plays at a different rate, so I'm not trying to let it get to me. 
I like my team. I do too. Have you gotten the three legendaries? Because, I mean, who hasn't gotten them? PBH. You be fucking H, man. I feel like my team could be better. Ooh, supersonic. But for where I am right now, I'm not complaining. Thank god, didn't run into you. There's so many people I could run into. Some people compete over speed, and some compete over technique. Which kind are you? A lovely question indeed. Rachel. Intimidating. Per punch, so I can regain that attack. Whoop bam. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Oh, cute. You still have Leer. Not the bitch up. I tell you, I say, I say. Another Shinx. Quagtire, Infernape, Charm, Perich, Cricketune, Altair. Oh, nice. That's actually a really great team. You have pretty much like every every type. So it's a it's a balanced team, so that's good for you. Did you did you just go by like uh like stats and stuff, or like you actually like those Pokemon to have them in your team? Or is like, was there a certain way you set up your team? I should say. You're a speedy technician! Well, that was easy. Luna, I should guess you'll be able to ride anywhere. I like them, nothing more. Ah, you have a great bike, so I'd like to give you these great stickers. Three sky stickers, nice! I mean, that's good. I mean, everyone has their preferences on how to set up teams, so. Good for you. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters, right? Do you do any of the, um, like, do you go underground and stuff, or do you, like, uh, do any of the competitions? Ornberry, please. Ornberries. Yeah, nice. Just running to the Pokemon Center. No. Oh no, what did you you would black out or something? That's not good. I hate when I black out. <laughs> it's fun though. Really it makes you humble on um on knowing how to set up your team. And when to switch them out and be very tactician. A strong tactician. Just low PP. Ah. That's what she said. He had a low PP. Well, it's this way. Anything hurt? Oh. Oh, Pony Oh my god. Different kind. Yes, very different kind. <laughs> Big time, big time. Okay, so I don't want to kill the Ponyta. Flash fire? Oh. A very good skill to have them. 
So because I used a fire... Hmm, that's, that's interesting. Okay. So then we definitely want to use Manaphy. Not kill it, but to um, at least get it down to where we can catch it. Telegram, charm. You super sonic. Hopefully at least the confusion will make him attack himself. Excellent. So then maybe we don't actually even need to do anything. Maybe we can just catch it. Sometimes you're lucky and you can catch it. Just like that, see? Don't even gotta do it, you just gotta get confused, man. I hate grass, I'm gonna use repellents. No, don't use repels, what are you doing? I mean, if, if you need to. Faint. Oh, fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck out of here today, she... After an hour about... After birth, proponents of his fiery mane and tail grow, giving Pokemon an impressive appearance. Ooh, a whole hour? Wow. Ooh, honey tree. Can definitely use that. Oh, an item! It's the fog area? Ah, yeah, then that makes sense. Fuck that. Pokemon all over the place. Okay, so I don't know how strong you are besides level 14, so Ember. Good. Oh no! My wastefulness, my accuracy! Go! Catch the bitch! A two. A three! Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Protect stuff by swinging an Oxus food from its rear. A burn hit. <laughs> nice. I'll take that for outlay. Okay. I know you're a trainer. I could challenge you for for just more experience. Oh no, Ace Trainer! You know, Ace Trainer, yeah. Oh, in the fog. Pick that. You got this, though. You got this. We all got this, right? We will survive! Uh, when are we? I just told y'all we were doing this at 7. Alright, cool. Whoa, you start me. Well, we may as well battle. Challenge me, fool! Give me experience. Punch. Let's go, let's go. Ouch. Ouchy, ouchy. Excellent. Excellent. All going according to plan. Another onyx. You fool! Did you not learn from your first one? Apparently not. Back to the Stone Age. They both go. Your power startles me. Best believe it. 
Okay, anything... Ooh, yes. God damn it, right before I click it. Okay, my punch. I could run, but fuck it. The experience helps, especially since we're going to the next area. Definitely need to be prepared. Good day. Poison bar. Cool. Oh, come on. Yeah, we picked the same starter. Of course, I've always gone fire. The only time I didn't was back in Ruby and Sapphire. I need to do Flash. Um, I was not a hidden move though. I don't think. Yeah, not to fuck. Err, should I even bother? He. I have no idea. No, let's not. We'll come back to this. Maybe there's. Yeah, this just takes us to Orberg. I don't need to be going this way then. I think the only reason we would need to go this way is if we wanted to go back. Maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we can go back upside the bread. I'm pretty sure we can though. Oh, it's a bronzer. Yeah, but the only time, yeah, like I was saying, the only time I didn't go fire was in Ruby and Sapphire when I picked Trico. Because I didn't think uh, Torchic was cool. I didn't think I was like, I don't want a fire chicken. And I was like, and then Blaziken happened, and I was like, oh, hmm. It made me really decide, so I was like, eh. But Skeptile was pretty cool at the time. Double Battle of Ace Trainers, my favorite! Of course! You already know. Why wouldn't it be? Like, how could you not like it? Oh, hey, I almost missed this. Oh, can I not? There we go. Super Repel, what's over here? Berries that haven't fully... Oh, crossed. Nice. These I think I would forget about. So I won't bother replanting here. I won't plant it forward. Sorry, guys. As much as I plant it forward, y'all know how much I plant in my other episodes. We will not be doing that today. God damn it! Burp. Quark's are with Yawn as OP. I suppose. If you say so. Never used Quark's are myself, so. So, oh, we're back on 207, huh? It's Dawn! Oh, hey, Phoenix, how's your Pokédex coming along? Me? I'm somewhere between fantastic and, uh, hopeless. This isn't about me. I've got something nice for you. Phoenix, choose which hand you want. Oh, shit. Uh, what should I do? What should I do? Right or left? Right or left? Urgh. Right, left, wrong? Left, right... Yes. Hmm. We'll go with left, because I'm a lefty. I see. You want the Versus Seeker. 
I'm impressed, Phoenix. You know what's important. Hopefully that was a good choice. What was the other thing? Using that Versus Seeker, you find trainers who want to rematch with you. Oh, Phoenix, do you have a Coke Edge? Yep, you do. You can have this too, then. You deserve it for all your hard work. The Dowsing Machine. The Dowsing Machine can locate unseeable items. This Dowsing Machine is something you should touch often. It will tell you if you there is an item on the ground you can't see. Especially useful inside dark caves. Noise. We picked the same hand. Awesome. I'm a lefty, so by nature, that was just my choice. I would like to choose pick these fucking berries, thank you. It makes me wonder if I had chose the other one, would I have still gotten both things? Or would I have just gotten the one? That is the question. Right, right. Trainer tips. Pokemon may become immobilized if they're asleep or paralyzed. If this happens to Pokemon, it could be disastrous. It's your opponent's Pokemon can't- If your opponent's Pokemon can't move, it's a big opportunity. Nah, really? I wouldn't have guessed. Okay. I see. Oh, heck. Where the heck? So the next place we would have... Oh, so the next place we have to go is Heart Home. I see. So we went the right way anyway. So I guess that's a good call on my part. Although it was a Celestic Town, probably would have been wise to go through... Earthless, if we could have. So, oh well. What's up here? Snap point. Oh, I see, I see. I see. I still haven't gone to Cannon Wave. Probably need to go back and go there. Sometime. Sometime. Just not right now. Dire Pit. Nice. Come on, turn. You know what? Fuck it. We'll fight. We shall fight. Responding to my Discord real quick. Geodude. More Geodudes. Bruh. Get out of my life. Not even worth the challenge. Let's go, let's go. Alright. So, Zubat. This bitch is on fire. Cool. Whirlwind. Ooh. An H trainer is using Molten. Ooh. Hmm. Let's see. A target is blown away and a different Pokemon is dragged out in the wild that sends a battle against a single Pokemon. Ah. Oh. I think that would be better. Nice. More Geodudes? Bruh, how many fucking Geodudes do you have? 
I mean, you are a hiker, so it makes sense that you would have ground types, but still. Like, bruh. Yeah. There's nothing I can do but lie up. Because you lost, of course. Oh, well, I guess I'm challenging you. I just got through Mount Coronet, but we've still got fuel in the tank. Hiker Justin. Let's go. Bronzer. Her punch. Confusion. Oh no. Oof. Let's go. There we go. And that's how you do it. Excellent. Oops, didn't take too much to beat us. Of course I didn't. Weaker Pokemon than me. The fuck do you think was gonna happen? Alright, I do need to heal Monferno. Fuck it, I'll do the double battle. Go for it, my Pokemon. I'll do my best too. Go do it, my Pokemon. I'll work hard too. Alright, Camper and Picnicker. Anthony and Lauren. Monferno and Chirgach. And we shall use Swift. Excellent. Oh shit. Oh, because you're actually the steel tech, that's right. Not growl. Anything but dead. I say, I say. Goodbye, Patrice. Excellent. Confusion. Hopefully that still attacks. Alright, cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we lost. Oh, we lost. That's what y'all get for copying each other. Okay, maybe I do need to. Oh, thank God. Okay. Can I fish? I want to fish. Nope, nothing. Whole lot of nothing.
Oh. According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Seno region began. In a newly created world. A world where only time flowed and space expanded. There should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find the state of things to be deplorable. Okay. Well, nice to know. Where am I? Okay, so if I go that way, maybe... Will that lead us? Oh, that'll lead us down there. That's fine. Oh, whatever. Damn it! If I beat you, will you show some food with me? Bruh. I only have enough food for one fat ass here. And that's me! I'm- I'm a kid! How dare you ask a kid for food? It would be nice if I knew fly. Wouldn't have to deal with walking around. But it's okay. It's okay. We shall survive. Oh damn. That is either late or hella early. I mean, technically I've been up later than that, but... You're, you must be, like, hours away from me. It is only currently 6 <laughs> here for me. So, 6 p.m. Yeah. The Rex Smash! I've stayed up later, yeah. I've actually done a whole week without sleep when I was really younger. But like once I finally knocked out, I like slept for like two whole days. Pretty much. It was intense. Like staying up a whole week it was hella intense. Going to school and everything is. My family had no idea how I did it or why I did it. I just did it because I didn't want to sleep, man. I just didn't want to. But nowadays, if I stay up like even a whole day, I'm like exhausted and no energy. I fainted. Oh no! What's this? Berry Master's House. Free berries available. Yes, please. Everyone seems to call me the Berry Master. I end up berries daily because I want people to learn how wonderful they are. You're deserving of them. Now go out, Berry. Nice. Thank you. Um, would you like some berries? They're all plump and ripe. I have to buy them? Fuck that. Um, please come again. Are you the forgetful type who loses track of where berries are planted? Of course not. Oh, is that so? By any chance, are you the forgotful type who pretends to remember things when you don't? Heh! <laughs> wow. Okay, what if I say yes? Yes, yes, I thought so. I'm the same way. The town map shows you where all the white, ripe berries are ready to be plucked. Oh, really? Does it now? Tell me where. Where does it show that? Oh, it does. Fancy that. Huh. Oh, and you can change it. I see. That's that's interesting. Good to know. Good to know. All the berries, all the fucking berries, yo. Why do kids want to stay up that late? Um, 
That's honestly a great question. Personally, from my experience, I would just say for shits and giggles, um, to just stay up because we have nothing better to do, or because simply just bored boredom. Or do they have a bunch of energy? I would think it pop like m myself, uh, because of just energy and like watching YouTube and TV. Personally, that's really all I did when I when I stayed up that whole week. I just watched YouTube like on my Wii because I didn't have uh, a computer or anything. Like I didn't have access to internet besides my Wii when I had it. So it was just like, oh, okay, yeah. There you go. You and I, let us create a scene. A fantastic table of battle. Personally, that's that's just what I think. But <laughs> to flex on their friends, I stayed up for three days as a flex for kids. Yeah. Personally. I would think that's what they're doing this uh Thanksgiving week is just staying up so they can say, oh yeah, I stayed up watching people play, play games, and I played games all night long. Personally, also, like, I played, I played games besides just watching YouTube, so... It was a lot of fun. Definitely worth it. In the end, definitely worth it. It's definitely a memory, and not a flex, I guess, but in a sense, yes, it's a flex. What the fuck? You just stole my power. I'm mad. I see a ball night by accident. It it happens, honestly it happens. Like sometimes I'll like even when I have work the next day, like I'll stay up till like three or four in the morning. Either because I'm working on like thumbnails for YouTube or just because like I'm watching YouTube on my TV and I just lose track of time. Either that or because Nebula, my dog, who sleeps with me in my bed, wakes up due to the cat and chases the cat out of the bedroom. And then, because she sleeps up in the bed, so Nebula like jumps off the bed, climbs over me, jumps off the bed, and like you know, goes barking off out of the room, chasing the cat out. So it's just like, oh, I'm awake now. If you say Heart Home City, I only say this. Super contestions! I'm going to enter my darling Pokemon in them. Heart Home City is a great place. Every year it gets voted the most desirable place to live in Sinnoh. Huh. My cat will scratch the door till I let it out. That's almost... Well, so my cat gets... Oh, Venary. Oh, thank goodness you happened to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far away my Venary would could have run. Baby Venary, come back back into the Pokeball you go. I'm Kira. I'm a super contest show judge. Please drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. Oh, well, we're here in Hardcome now. Yeah. You're a trainer, aren't you? You've got two choices of challenges, either the gym or a super contest show, right? Indeed, that's how it would be. Yeah, my cat, he, um... He, he actually, like, opens my door. So, like, he, he's, he gets closed out of the bedrooms from now on. Like, he, he cries too much when he's in the bedroom. Um, Hoenn, oh Jesus, been hoping to find the contest hall, but being new, I lost my way. Fortunately, the local people have very kindly led me to my destination. By the way, you can't fight this gym. I can't! Oh, that's right. I don't think I can yet. May I offer you the courtesy of showing you the contest hall? Of course! Since you were led the way, show me the way. Um, but yeah, like my cat, he locks out. He He's locked out. Not locked out, but he's shut out of the bedrooms. Um, so when he wants attention, he'll open my door. Like my door is even when it's closed, it's not heavy enough to stay closed. So like all he does is just push it, it opens, and then he just comes inside and just, you know, fucking 
wakes up everyone and it's just like, fun! This is the contest hall. Please, do go inside. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please excuse moi. Are you entering a super contest show? Oh, enjoy yourself, please. Incidentally, Fatina, the heart home gym leader, also happens to be a contest show expert. And you may ask yourself, how do I know this? Well, I am Fatina. You may challenge me, but yet you must become much stronger. Then you may challenge me. Oh, well. We just got told. <laughs> she just literally told us. Okay. Yep, told you. Yep, yep. Oh, my hero! Oh, hi, Phoenix. Mom. Wait, no, really? Joanna is your mom? So you might be a super contest show star. Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to Phoenix about super contest shows. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Oh, yes, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Please, take the sticker. One ethereal sticker C. Place that sticker on one of your ball casters before a show. It will lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a show jet, so please come join us for all kinds of fun. If you're unsure of yourself, we also offer practice sessions. Okay, gentlemen, I'll see you. Were you surprised to see me, Phoenix? I got bored, so I came out here to Heart Home for a little vacation. I'm just as surprised to see you here, my dear. But you are serious about entering Super Pontius shows? Not dressed that way! It's your Pokemon's time to shine, so you shouldn't be dressed your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. A tuxedo! I'm sure it will look good on you. After all, I chose it. Go enjoy the Super Contest shows, honey. Shows will give you a different look at the many charms of Pokemon. Should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now. Bye, Mom. It was um, nice talking to you after so long. You're going to enter Super Contest shows? But I don't see a platform case. Could be tough for you to win in contest shows without one. But if you're determined to enter, don't let me stop you. It wouldn't hurt to get into practice at the counter to the right. Bruh. Your mom is secretly Cynthia. Cynthia. We've run into her already. She's not Cynthia. But that would be a plot twist, wouldn't it? My boyfriend gets so nervous that he can't work up the courage to enter a contest show. What should I do? Every super contest show has three parts. Visual, dance, and a contest move. Each contestant will be created in those categories. Uh -huh. A Pokemon fed Poffins does better in visual evaluations. I'd better learn how to cook delici delicious different Poffins at the Poffin House. Oh, so I do need to go get Poffins. Like everything else, the basics are important. It takes practice to win Super Contest shows. I suppose it does. Today's the day. I'm definitely going to compete in a contest show. Yeah, definitely. Are you going to enter a contest show too? Well, well I mean, eventually, yes. If your Pokemon is selected at the start of the show, they'll put up its photo. It's framed? Oh, these are all just frames. Interesting. Okay, well that's something to come back to. I definitely want to talk to everyone here. There's so many stickers to place on ball capsules. I can't decide what I should use. Lining up my favorite statues in my underground secret base is what I live for. I'd like to live in Heart Home City when I get married, but my boyfriend wants to live in Bellstone because it's a department store. Ooh, yes, the department store. I went for a stroll in Amity Square with my pair of Chisu. We came across a cute sticker while we walked. Do you think placing this on my Patrice's ball capsule would make my Patrice look even cuter? Maybe. It is a possibility. Okay, right, so I definitely want to heal because I need more PP. I need higher, stronger PP. I need all the PP. All right. Hello. Do you have a popping case? If you haven't got one, you must really visit the Pokemon Fan Club. They're saying that gym leader Fatina is not around. <laughs> she must have heard I'm around. Chicken out. Bitch, please don't get cocky. Have you seen the globe in the GWS in Jubilee City? So awesomely awesome. I can't really explain it well, but it's just wicked. It must be. Oh, so much to do here. 
Hi. Oh, I've seen you somewhere before. Where was it again? Hold on. Don't come to me. Oh yeah, you're the one who was battling the scary looking guys in Jubilife City. I was really curious about you after that, so I went ahead and did a little research. And then, surprise, surprise, turns out you're connected to the famous Professor Rowan. And you've been going around defeating gym leaders too? I seriously thought my eyes were going to pop out of my head. Oh, sorry. There I go right in my mouth again. It's me, BB. You remember me, don't you? I'm the one who gave you those ball capsules. And hey, you know who's po those Pokemon boxes you've been using? I'm the system administrator of them. Of course you are. Uh, in my bag I have a farm. I mean, PP up. Mmm. Uh-huh. Yes. Make sure to have all the PP up. Mm-hmm. Especially out in IRL. All the PP ups. Well now, you're a trainer. That makes you both Papa and Mama for your Pokemon. You know how having Pokemon around leads to new discoveries. It's the same for parents and kids. I'm always learning from my kids. Interesting. Babies and Pokemon get along perfectly together. When babies take naps, Pokemon go to sleep right next to them. Oh yeah, I believe it. That's the same with pets. When I grow up, I want to become a Pokemon coordinator. Does the baby give you anything? Foo -foo -foo. When I get bigger, I want to be trainer too. Wow, you're a Pokemon trainer. Having lots of Pokemon around is a lot of responsibility. That also comes with a lot of fun. Just believe it. It's all attention, no one even notices me. I just noticed you though. How do you feel about that? Huh? Huh? How about that? I said it. I said I said it. Heart Home is a kid friendly city, they say, but I disagree. Heart Home City is friendly to kids, grown ups, and Pokemon too. Oh my god, children are clamoring for Pokemon of their own. It may be tricky to manage it, but it'll brighten up the mood more. A world in which Pokemon people are passionate with others. That's all that matters to me. Oh no, there are no stairs in this house. It's easier this way. A lack of stairs makes it easy for the little Pokemon to get about. Of course it does. Ain't nothing. But at the same time... Uh, you know. Definitely need Pokemon to get their steps in. You get lots of PP up, little girl. Yes. Make sure to have all the PP. I was given a TM for strength at the Lost Tower. Lost Tower is at 209 on the way to Salicone City. Oh, town. Is this the, the gym? Yes, Fatina. But I cannot challenge you, Fatina. I've lived in total seclusion up in the mountains for 30 years. I'm going to clean up at Super Contest shows when the dance music came up. Okay, Bruce Lee, calm down. When I take my baby out in a stroller, I see the town in a different way. I've noticed things like stairs and bumps in the sidewalk. Alright, so... Just make sure all the PP. We want all the PP! I mean, what? No, never! All the PP. Yes, all the PP. There are the super contest shows, and then we have Amidity Square. We have visitors from all over, so we need to keep the city look nice. Ow, that hurt. But... People all over the world follow the super contest shows. What should I do? I could captivate the whole world. Could you now? Intriguing. Pee pee! <laughs> I have something for your Pokemon to hold. Take this shell bell. You put shell bell in your bag. Why is Tim Galactic on TV? Damn it, I missed the ad. Why were they on the TV? Why do they need to broadcast that they are stealing Pokemon? <laughs> Or maybe they're just spreading all their lives. Is this where we get our coffins? Oh my. Hello there. Hello, hello. How do I say, do you do? 
I am the Pokemon Fan Club Chairman in GDS I am. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to a treat, what I say do you do? If I may say so, and I will. I feed Poffins to my Pokemon. And why I say, why do I do that? Because the giving of Poffins is a way of expressing your love. For example, if I were to give a sweet Poffin, the, poffin eating, the Pokemon eating it would become more cute. For example, a spicy Poffin will add to the coolness of a Pokemon. In such ways, I say that Poffins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. Therefore, I declare this Poffin case to be a gift for me to you. Yeah, that's what's up. I urge you to fill it with Poffins and be generous in dispensing them to your Pokemon. Well, thank you. Welcome to the Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, you're Monferno. It's quite friendly to you. It must be happy being with you. Of course it would. I'd take great care of my Monfern and all of my Pokemon. Just trying to... Oh, it's a dick. Ta-da! Kept me waiting again, Phoenix. Let's see how much tougher you and I have gotten right here and now. Hey, you're a trainer now. You expect me to be ready for a battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get the show started. Oh, well shit. Finally. Okay. You want to start off with a Starling. Weak. Bring out your next Pokemon. Turn Fluff. Oh, I should have switched. Damn it. Oh yeah. I'll show you something wicked too. Bubble Beam. Oh no. Anything but the bubbles. Stuff Rock. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. That won't hurt me. My punch. Out of here. Scrub. Come on, Dick. I thought you were tougher and harder than that. <laughs> uh, keep. Or punch. Let's go, let's go! Oh, cute. You think you can use Growl and it'll work for your benefit. Little do you know. I can finally get Surfer Quaxar. Nice! Oh, I'm assuming you beat the 5th gym leader. More than likely. I need to learn Fly. Eventually. Luxio wants to learn Roar. Uh, was he? No. Eh, nah. We can always reteach it if we want Roar later on. Oh, Ruben, thank you for uh, following. I barely saw the notification. My bad. But thank you, thank you. Roselia. Weak. Oh, no, you didn't beat him? Okay. I mean, hey, as long as you got there, good for you. Life do? What does life do? It use the user scatters mysterious water around and restores the HP of itself and it's out- Ooh, hell yeah! Helping hand, we can get rid of that. I like that. Thank you. Dick, you are not hard. 
You were a very soft boy. I got it from Cynthia's grandma or grandparents. What just happened? You're telling me I'm lost? Ooh. Yo, you KO'd my team again. This messes up my dream of becoming the greatest trainer ever. No, just need to get tougher and keep winning. One day. That's it. I'm going to challenge the Bellstone Gym next. See you around, Phoenix. You'll be blown away about how much tougher I'll be next time we meet. Of course. Weak link. Hi, hi. Do you want a Pokemon egg? They found this as a Pokemon nursery in Silicon Town. Do you want to take it? Hold up. You don't know. Oh, what egg is that? I'll take an egg. Oh, what's here? Poffin House. Oh. I thought it was in the Poffin House. Oh, that was the fan cup. My bad. Oh no, it's sex. No, it's dick. Hello. Here, you can you may cook berries and turn them into puffins. Ooh. Okay. Please do it again. Mm -hmm. Hi, let's get cooking. Here's my advice on cooking tasty puffins for your Pokemon crew. In the beginning, while it's still a batter, swirl it gently and avoid spillage. When it starts to harden, churn it fast in big circles. At the end, make a wish for it to turn scrumptious and warm. Eating good food makes people and Pokemon more energetic and happier. In that sense, we're exactly alike. Have you got some berries? To make delicious poppins, the cream ingredients is a rare berry. Awesome, poppins will come up yummy if you cook berries as quickly as possible, but still slowly enough that so you don't spill the batter. You're lucky, you're lucky glad and glad that you've got fly. Oh my, yes, you're indeed. Hello, yes, I would like to cook. Mmm, let's try. Let's try Raz. Corn and cherry. Oh, pizza. There we go. Okay. Oh, whoops. Don't mean to spill it. One about right there, probably. Turn it the other way. Other way. Okay. Go. Oh. I'm hurrying. I'm going, I'm going. Shit, it's a math quiz in the fifth gym. Oh. I'm trying. Don't rush me. How dare the game be so rude. Oh, cool. Spicy dry puffin. I, that was my first time, so let's keep going at it. I feel maybe a pineapple and a pizza. We can try it. Okay, so maybe let's try not to spell it. Let's see if we can get a perfect, perfect score. Okay, cool. To the right, to the right. Counterclockwise. Don't want to spill it. Trying to keep it under. Excellent. I think we're doing good. We're doing good. Keep it up. This is Rachel Ray's cooking puffins show. You know, you know what's up. You know what's up. <laughs> okay, it's Blood Frenzy's Poffin Cooking Show. It's burning, it's burning, go, 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 go. Okay, so now that it's harder, we can go faster. Damn it. Didn't mean to slow down, I'm slowing down, fuck. 
Oh, good. Did we do good? Battle Poffin, oh fuck. I don't want that. That looks gross. I, I'm kind of... Hmm. Stardust. Where is... this... Puffin? Hmm. I guess it's never. Guess it's not here. Okay. Well, I mean, at least, um, we uh, got to cook some Puffins. I used a water stone in my Pokemon and it evolved. Intriguing. We're in a church. Pokemon. People. It's only natural that we are also very different. Make sure that you never judge Pokemon based on whether it's weak or strong. You must always look for the good inside of them. That's what counts. There are still words that not everyone can describe. The words are love and joy. Oh. There we go. That people are... That people are lonely is only natural. It gives me compassion for others. It's what makes me look forward to a better tomorrow. But there are still moments of fondness for the past. Time can heal some sadness, though. When people and Pokemon join hands, everyone's happy. It makes everyone come together. It could even make the world one. And there do I see my father, my son, my life. And there, I, and there do I see nature, Pokemon, the world. The art of crafting thing fatigues one's spirit. When the spirit is healed, the desire to make something returns. It is such a wondrous cycle. Is it, though? Is it? Okay, to heart, man. Okay, indeed. Okay, right, so then... Amity Square. Oh, Amity Square. Yes, please. I'll take a walk with my Pokemon. My Pikachu seems delighted to be out in its Pokemon for a walk outside. I can tell because its cheeks are twitching like crazy. In Amity Square, you may go for a stroll with a cute Pokemon. In Amity Square, you may go for a stroll with a cute Pokemon. Which Pokemon would you like to take for a stroll together with? Oh, only Monferno? Please do enjoy your time with Monferno. Just the two of you, okay? Aww. I come here with my Happini every single day. I can let it run free without any worries at all. Bro, this is awesome. This is cute. Ooh, I just can't believe it. I'm so overjoyed with my Pikachu. Wherever I go, my Pikachu follows me without hesitation. <laughs> it's just the two of us. Woohoo! Oh, hey. Volt switch. Nice. Glad I don't have to pay to be out here. Oh, I hello. Here you make berries and turn them into puffins. Hmm. Mew is cute. Yeah, Mew is cute, but he was on he wasn't able to, to go. I think I have to bond with him better. Uh let's try that. Nab. Raz. And another bowl. Jirachi is cute. Yeah, that's why. Like, the fucking... The ones I chose are cute, but I can only go with Monferno, so... It is what it is. Okay. Monferno is helping me cook. He's helping me! Oh my god, that's so fucking adorable. Yeah. Okay, don't spill it, don't spill it. Slow down a little, bruh. But I want to do it as fast as possible. Okay, it's hardening, we can see it. Cool, there it goes. Don't oh, burn, hurry, 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 hurry. Go, go, Monferno, help me, help me. 
I'm trying. You can't rush. There we go. What? Ugh. The mean is fucking. Maybe it's the bulk. No matter. Let's try this. Maybe this would be better. Hopefully this isn't a bad mix. Oh. There we go. I spilled. Whoops. I hate Fatina. Oof. Why? Don't hate. Hate is such a strong word. You strongly dislike. How about that? I mean, surely her team isn't that bad to, to fight up against. Don't mind us, we're just cooking here. I'm trying! I fucking burnt it, I'm so mad. Damn it, man. No, I'm- I'm over this. No, I don't want to cook. Cooking made me upset. Okay, okay. Well, so this is another good area where you can just walk around with an egg and get the steps in. You should talk to your Pokemon. It'll occasionally find things. Oh, you're happy. Monferno is moving energetically. It's called Platinum. Those are ruins from a long time, long, long time ago. Is there anything in here? Oh, there's something over here though. A spooky plate. Ooh. Text engraved in the back of the chain plate. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. Hmm. Don't you use those plates for uh, Arceus? Yeah, 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 and it becomes that type. I remember. Are you feeling refreshed? Please come again, okay. Oh. Oh, it looks like the Pokemon that was taking a stroll with you wants to go out. Only special trainers can make their Pokemon feel that way. I'm pretty sure that your Pokemon would be delighted if you let them out of the Pokeballs outside the square, too. Oh! Oh? I can do that? Oh, they refused entry to my Pokemon. Oh, my poor Gyarados and Steelix. Dude, you have huge ass Pokemon. What do you expect? Bruh, you're out here. Oh my god. After passing this gate, you'll find a paradise where lots of Pokemon play, or so I heard. Okay, well, Heart Home is awesome. Okay, what can we buy? Still nothing really of use. I do want more escape rooms. We'll buy eight. That way we have ten. Alright, cool. I'm not good. Okay. I'd like to buy the item revive, but they won't select to someone who's only got with two gym badges. Oh. I've heard there are lots of stickers to be found. Someone told me that you can find some in the Amity Square. But I didn't see any. Oh well, whatever. But Pokey. Okay. So where do we... Yeah, so we have to go over there. So we can either go through Salicone or Celestic. I still feel like we need to go back to Canalave. Is there even a way through Canalave yet? Don't think so. 
so probably you go through there. Because I think we have to go through this way to get over to Celestic. If I recall correctly from the original. Let's save. Let's us save. Uh, should we... Actually, let's try the contest. We'll try one contest. See how it is in general. And then go from there. Would you like to enter Pokemon? Yes, enter. Mm, let's do coolness. We'll do ignore. Mm, blame you. Please choose a ball caps to use the contest show. Oh, don't have one set up. Thank you. Good luck. I need all the good luck. Oh, oh, that actually, that contest style is actually really nice. I like that. Platinum style throws us back to platinum, so it's a huge throwback. Ooh, okay, here we go. Phoenix of Monferno. Jocelyn and Punchy. What? Oh. Heather and Pitt. Renee and Bucky. Flame Wheel. Yes. Let's go, let's go. All the dance moves. All the fucking dance moves, yo. Good shit, good shit. Oh, well, that was it. Sweet. So how'd we do? Are we cool? What a successful super contest show. You got some hall points. Okay, it's time to announce the stars of the show. The star of the shows are... Fuck! Renee and Bucky. Damn it. Okay, okay. Oh well. So... No. Mm. Well, hey, at least we got to try it. We definitely need to set up all capsules, though. Definitely. At a contest show, you gotta pull off a cool contest move. Then you'll rack up lots of hearts from the audience. If you and the other contestants show your moves off back to back, you'll score bonus points. Cool. The dance evaluation, your sense of rhythm is the key. The more you hit the notes in time with the music, the higher your score will be. For the move evaluation, you only get one shot. Coordinate with other performance and use your contest move when you feel the time is right. Have you placed a lot of stickers in your com Eating Pokemon's ball capsule. The more stickers there are on your ball capsule, the faster an entrance your Pokemon will make. And just between you and me, different stickers seem to pair well with different contest shows. Oh, so definitely then something that we should spend some time investing in. For the visual evaluation, is it important to choose a Pokemon whose condition matches the category of the contest show? 
Okay. Oh, interesting. Interesting stuff indeed. Go to Velstone. That is where we are going next. So we're going to save here. We're going to call it here for this episode of Pokemon. I hope you guys enjoyed and had a blast just like I did. Um, this was live here on Twitch at twitch.tv slash blood underscore frenzy, of course. And it will be over on the YouTube VOD channel at Blood Frenzy in a playlist for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. So if you're watching over on there, make sure to like, follow, subscribe, and, um, you know, comment, you know, if I missed anything or I'm being big dumb and I'm not doing anything right and you hate how I'm playing and all that stuff. <laughs> make sure to let me know. Um, yeah. Um, but thank you so much dudes and dudettes for coming out and I will see y'all next episode.